everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo. So today, very exciting, we have a new gadget to play with around here. And it's always exciting when you're a rock hound. We love our gadgets. And this was sent to me by Radio Code. So we get to try out this new gadget. This is a scintillator. And this is basically a fun little gadget that will help us with radiation detection. So I am just getting it. So I'm just going to take you guys along for kind of unboxing it and tell you a little bit about it from what I know so far and in the future we'll also do some more demos with it. Um, I got, I've got some samples and some cool spots that we'll take this to so I'm super excited to, to play with this thing but like I said it's a portable radiation detector and by portable let's take it out of the box here. There's, a, there's that um, little information card with it uh, and here's our little device here so yeah so that's by radio code and this one they have um the 10x series and the, they have a 102 103 and a 103 g this is the 103 model if you're wondering and uh, there's the power cord so that's what's in the box so there's our actual little detector that's it just this little thing i think on their site it says it's like 67 grams or something like that. So that's the portable part, right? So this is pretty small and lightweight. You carry it around with you anywhere. And you can detect radiation. So definitely fun for the rock hounds out there. Um, this is, I said it was a scintillator. The way this works is different than the Geiger counter. I know we've done a few things here with the Geiger counter. Um, about a year ago or so, we went to that uh, hot spot I found and measured some stuff with the Geiger counter. And now I'm really excited because soon, really soon, we'll probably be taking this thing there as well. So we'll be able to do some different types of measurements because scintillators and Geiger counters work differently and measure different types of radiation. And I'll talk more about that in coming videos. So if you do wanna learn more about, um, about radiation, then stick with me here. If you're new to it, I'll go over some of the basics and uh, we'll talk about what make wh what is radioactivity and radioactive minerals and um, why you might why you might want one of these devices. Even if you're just rock hounding things that aren't radioactive, this is a pretty good safety gadget to have. Um, and actually this and a Geiger counter would be good to have on hand because of the fact that they do measure different things. Um, but this would be a good start. This is going to tell you if the stuff that you are digging in has radioactivity into it, in it. Um, so this Radio Code 103 is going to run in the price range of about $300. And it's actually a pretty good price for what this thing can do. This is a pretty powerful instrument for as small as it is. Being that it's a scintillator, scintillators, there's a couple different kinds, but they generally operate with a crystal inside of them. So there's sodium iodide. This one's a cesium iodide crystal activated by thallium. So that's basically how this thing works. The radiation interacts and excites that crystal. And that's what signals to the device to, um, to tell you what is going on in your environment. So again, we'll talk a little more about how scintillators work and the difference between scintillators and Geiger counters in the future. But for today, I just wanted to point out that there are different options out there. And this one has a lot of features. Again, for the price, they have the 102, the 103, this one, and the 103G, which now that's going to run you more in the like over $500 range. And um, so, you know, I, I can stick some links in the description if you are interested in trying one of these gadgets out. But if you just want to, if you want something that's powerful and accurate, um, but you don't want to quite go up that high, you can try out this one. I, I'd recommend the 103 in that case. Uh, so here's what this thing can do. Here's what we'll be able to play with over the coming weeks once we get some good samples. Uh, this has the ability to do mapping so you can essentially make a map a route in your environment and it will highlight it will color code the radiation intensity along that trail along that route so that works with google map um, and then other things that it can do uh, it's basically uh, it's a dosimeter it can it has a food mode so you can test radioactivity in your food 
Uh, and I think you can even log the information as well. So this has a, you don't have to use it with a phone app, but it has a, an app that comes along with it, I think for iPhone and Android. So we'll be able to see stuff a little better than just on that little screen uh, once we, I think it's through Bluetooth. So once we connect the phone to it, we'll be able to see stuff on the screen. Now, what what would we possibly want to look at? Well, this is the part that I'm most excited about, about the scintillator, and that is the gamma spectroscopy that it can do. So we will be able to, uh, basically it will generate a spectrogram, and the spectrogram is, if, you, if you're not familiar, that's going to be this graph. So on here, it'll probably just kind of be like a black and white um, looking graph. But I believe on the phone, it should render a little more colorful graph. And that graph is is a signature that corresponds to the the element. It, it will it will help us pinpoint exactly what is radioactive in our environment. For instance, if we have a mineral sample and we're like, okay, what is this? Well, this will help us figure out if that is uranium or thorium or whatever it is in our environment. So that way we can actually not only maybe identify the mineral that we have in the sample, but just in general kind of pinpoint the source of the radiation. Because if you know, if you know a little better what is causing the radiation, then you can also maybe figure out where it's coming from. You know, is this um, from a certain... Uh, mine or is this from a certain thing in our environment if you're in if you're in the city you can use this too you could like I said identify food sources or contamination sites or anything like that so pretty cool so those are the features those are the main features it has some other things but those are the main features that I'm most excited about for this and like I said we'll be taking it along and uh, we'll be doing some testing with it here very soon so if you're interested stay tuned I have some fun spots to take it to so if you want to see, I'll turn it on here. There we go. So that's it on. It's immediately making some noise. It's, I'm not sure exactly what the settings are. I'm glad it had a little bit of battery there so we could turn it on. That's that classic sound that you're going to hear with the counts. It's on counts per second. Um, and I believe, so that, if I push this down, see that unlock that and I can toggle between options doses and rates and then let's see if I can get to any other there we go that is toggling a menu here so monitor spectrum let's see that's the spectrum so that's what I was talking about um, on the phone I'll show you next time we'll see how much cooler it looks there and then some setting options there you go so you can set measurement units count rate dose rate stuff like that cool so there's the bluetooth all kinds of stuff in there Okay, so time. Let's get out of there. Not sure how to get out of there, actually. <laughs> so anyway, that's basically what we have. Let me uh, see if... Let's listen. Okay, let's see if there's anything. It's not too high. This one I was a little suspect of, but it's not... I think it's a little heightened on that one. If we could get the... If we could get out of this time menu... Maybe we could, oh, maybe escape is what I need to go to. There we go. Got out of there, so. Let's, uh, do this for toggling. So I wonder, count rate. Okay, so right now it's set in counts per second. And let me just set it down here with this fly. And on this, I'm a little suspect this is not too hot, but I think it'll take us up a little bit higher than it was. Maybe not. It was at 13.6. Hopefully you can see. 13.7, 13.8. It's climbing a little, but it's not. Yeah. So that's taken us up just a little bit. These pieces are a little higher than the background, right? For sure. And I'm not sure. I still have to play with it to see how long... Uh, I need to hold it on a sample for and what the different options are, which again, we'll play around with, but yeah, so, so lots of options in there. We'll play around with it, but that is what we have now. The radio code, 
scintillator 103 model and lots of radioactive adventures to come here at let's go geo i'll see you guys on the next adventure